Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and for our last video, I'm going to show you a bit more customization in WordPress. At the moment, in our e-commerce site, we've got a few products, cakes and pies, and we've got a checkout screen and such. Now, we are able to edit all aspects of our theme, but then at a certain point, um, you want to edit what is, uh, what is the default. In the back end, you have your appearance category and then all the themes and depending on the theme you might have a customize button under customize you may or may not find the elements that you want to edit for example I'm tired of it saying just another WordPress site I found under that customize button I can make it say instead the best in San Diego I can save and publish close that and then when I refresh my front end now that's been edited very nice now let's say I wanted to change other aspects such as proudly proudly powered by WordPress while I am proudly powered by WordPress I would like that to say something else and sometimes you're not gonna find that under a customize under a customize screen you need to get more in-depth and that's when the editor comes in so under Appearance Editor, go ahead and click that. And we've seen this before in a previous video. This is where you're able to edit all aspects of your WordPress and, uh, and plugins. Um, because all of the code is there, uh, laid bare for you. And if you know CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, and PHP, you'll be able to make just about any change you want. And here's what I want to do. I want to change the text that appears at the foot in the footer of my website. So there is a file in my particular theme called footer.php. If you click, it brings it up in the editor here. It contains footer content and the closing of the main and page developments. Well, if you look around, you will see a spot that says, let's see, 2013 credits href echo etc here we go proudly powered by and then a variable 2013 WordPress so if we change that we're going to be able to change our our footer we can change this in a variety of ways the way that it currently is is rather complicated because it's writing some PHP where we can add a a link mentioning a particular theme and a bunch of stuff but let's make it very simple at the moment we've got a link it says a href and then slash a and that's inside of a div of site uh, a div of class site info right here so let's see what happens if we do this I'm gonna remove the link and just type copyright 2014 Victor Campos. I'll update that. Refresh. And now it's got my text. It's no longer clickable, but I can edit that, of course, if I know some CSS and HTML and, and the like. But uh, here I'm showing you that you can edit any aspect of your theme by directly editing the PHP files and such. And that's very good. But actually, it could also be very bad, because if you remove, for example, this one question mark here by accident, that might break your whole site entirely. It would just be blank. It would just be an epic fail. So instead of making changes in the way that I'm doing it, which is direct but very dangerous, I recommend instead that you use something called child themes. Now, child themes are a complicated thing. Uh, but luckily you can find a full tutorial on how to work with child themes so this is what I recommend uh, on your favorite search engine go ahead and search for WordPress child themes your first result should hopefully be one called child themes WordPress codex 
and you'll see that's at the address codex.wordpress.org slash child themes. This is straight from the horse's mouth. This is straight from WordPress themselves exactly how to create child themes. I'm going to click that tutorial and it says a WordPress child theme is a theme that inherits the functionality of another theme called the parent theme. Child themes allow you to modify or add the functionality of that parent theme. A child theme is the safest and easiest way to modify an existing theme, whether you want to make a few tiny changes or extensive changes. Instead of modifying the theme files directly, you can create a child theme and override within. Why use this? And you can read this on your own, but basically once it's set up you can speed up development you can learn how the whole WordPress framework works and more importantly if you modify an existing theme and it is updated your changes will be lost with a child theme you can update the parent theme and still keep your changes so WordPress is always evolving it's always updating you might get a message when you log into your theme a big red number at the top uh, that you need to update themes and such it's a good idea to update because it fixes security issues and the like. But any customization you do, such as changing any of these PHP files, will be lost because the theme will be updated. The new latest code of the theme will override your old code. Well, you use a child theme to get around that. And in this tutorial, I'm not going to go through that process because it's it can be complicated but you can read this tutorial it's the tutorial that I swear by and it works and so you want to read how to do it and this is my recommendation on how to really edit your WordPress themes uh, you want to make sure you check out the wordpress.org site and visit the support section and there's lots of great stuff to read there to become a real WordPress pro but hopefully in this series of videos you've learned just enough to become dangerous with WordPress, how to install it and set it up, how to uh, set up a shopping cart and um, start selling products. And if you're interested in learning more about WordPress, make sure you check out WordPress.org or a future video. Thanks for watching.